Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the show that shall not be named. I know Inktober is over, and I don't have any prompts here. I sat down. I wanted to make a video today, so I sat down, I looked at my sketchbook, and I didn't really know what to draw for the first time in a long time, seems like. So I decided what better thing for that than automatic drawing. So today we're going to go through an automatic drawing and just, you know, try and uh, get over a little bit of creative block, right? So I'm just coming through with the pencil. I don't normally start with pencil, but I figured I'd try it out. And just really just keeping my mind empty, blank, trying not to do anything with intention and just sketching out shapes. Whatever just kind of seems to come, come out of my hand, basically, is how I do it. And then I'm doing a similar thing with the, the inking here, using the pencil lines as a guideline, but just kind of letting, letting it flow, whatever feels natural come out. And yeah, I, I kind of, how I do it, and I don't know if this is the way everybody does it, but as I'm going along, I kind of see shapes maybe that relate to lines that are already on the page. So it's kind of natural for me to just complete those shape ideas, I guess, if that makes sense. So I guess there is a small amount of intention when I'm doing this stuff, but I try not to, it's not like I'm trying to draw a specific thing or anything. I'm just, I'm just seeing the shapes and letting them kind of happen, if that makes sense. So that's my whole idea. <laughs> it's kind of hard to uh, narrate and describe an automatic drawing because the, the whole idea of doing an automatic drawing in the first place is that you are, you know, you're trying to almost be in that meditative state where you're not thinking, you're not doing anything with intention. So I'm literally sitting here while I'm drawing, just, you know, thinking about random stuff from my day or something that's bothering me or not really focusing on the drawing or, you know, I'm not necessarily thinking about stuff that's bothering me. It's just whatever, I guess. I think so through some of this, I was thinking about something that was bothering me, but I'm not thinking about the drawing. It's like a doodle almost. If you've ever had like a, a, cal a desk calendar and just kind of, you know, doodled in the empty date squares or in the corner, you know, the margin on your, your schoolwork or, you know, even in a book, <laughs> it's just that kind of stuff. Like it, it's more an exercise in shape and the form of the lines, I guess, if that makes sense for me anyways. And then, yeah, same thing here. Well, not the same thing, actually. I switch to the extra fine. And what I do when I come through with the extra fine, I'm doing hatching. And I'm just going along and looking at the, the, sh the, the shapes that I see in the, the line work that I've already done, right? So you'll see, like, you know, I'll shade under stuff to kind of make it look like a ledge or I'll put contours on things to make them look rounded or you know, add some lines to add texture and et cetera, et cetera. This, this is the point for me anyways, when I'm doing this, where I alternate between automatic drawing and semi-intentional stuff the most is during the shading portion. So yeah, there'll be a lot of parts where I'm looking at the shapes and just, you know, trying to pick out different shapes in the line work. So I think it looks 
it's nice to actually finish it, you know, and make a, because I could just, you know, if you look at the upper portion right now, I could just leave it like that. That's the really, you know, more automatic part. But this is kind of what turns it from just, you know, a, a simple like line exercise into something that is a little more interesting to look at, I, I suppose. So I like to go through and do that. And yeah, I'm just, you know, I'll cruise along. Like, yeah, there I'm adding a little bit of automatic drawing line work there. And then contour lining, you know, trying to shade it in and all that kind of stuff. And some of the stuff I don't really know what to do with. Um, so um, I'll just black it in or, you know, leave it blank, whatever. You don't have to fill everything in either. In fact, it might look more interesting if you left parts blank. Um, on this one, I leave the background blank for sure, so... And then, yeah, some of the stuff I I was, I didn't really know what to do with it. So I was just kind of, I don't know, do doodling away. And that's fine. You know, the, the whole thing is, it's more of an exercise than a finished product for me anyways. I'm not trying to show like a gallery of these or anything. <laughs> not, you know, not that there's anything wrong with that. I'm not talking, you know... I'm not bad mouthing anybody who does that, but um, I always thought of these as more of an exercise um, in honing your line work and your ability to come up with, you know, random shapes and textures on the fly. So you don't have to sit there and, you know, use a reference to look at like the cracks in a rock or, you know, whatever. You can just kind of make it up on the fly. And it all comes from imagination at that point. So that's what I think is really cool about this stuff. So hopefully that helps anybody who's struggling with it. A, lo a lot of this stuff, too, I, I've been drawing for a long, long time. So my sort of tool set of shapes and, you know, techniques and stuff like that is pretty well developed so if you go to do if you want to do a a, a, a um, automatic drawing and yours doesn't you know look representational as mine or it doesn't look you know it doesn't matter that's not the point of it right mine looks this way because i draw so much and if yours doesn't look this way you know or yours might even look better you know maybe you draw more than i do or maybe you've learned more from your practice than I I have, right? I've been drawing for a long time. I probably should be better than I am, honestly, for how long I've been doing it. So, But, yeah, my whole point is, is that if yours doesn't look, you know, if your lines don't have the same sort of contour and, you know, your shading doesn't look as, you know, nifty as mine, then it doesn't matter. That's not the point of it. The point is to... You know, it's a practice. It's like a, you know, noodling around on an instrument or something. You know, um, imp improvisational music is a good example, right? People will play a guitar or um, a, any, I mean, anything, saxophone, trumpet, whatever. And they'll just noodle around on it and see what they, you know, what sort of weird sounds they can come up with and 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 use it in songs later, right? Like maybe you never would have thought to do that note combination together, but your sort of noodling session led to it or whatever. So hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully this video was useful. Go ahead and... Do a like, a comment, a subscribe. Thank you to my patrons on Patreon. And if you guys have any questions or if something I said didn't make any sense, just let me know in the comments.
Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. All right, bye now.